forgot to light the cigar. Gigaparts has set up a 5% off to all my tankers out there. Plus, that you can get a Dizzy Ray kit that comes with this amazing blue box. I wish I had it. Along with amazing deals on MMP. That's messy and polony cables, which I'm going to be working with a lot here soon. Enter tank at checkout to get 5% off and also help support the channel. The link is in description below. Today, we are working with the Evolve 3 to install all the software you need to run the DigiRig and the G90 for FTA. So let's go ahead and get started. I already went ahead and downloaded WSJTX, Hammers, and OmniRig to this laptop so we could skip the whole download part. We're gonna go ahead and run through the installs and I'm gonna show you how to set them up. First, the easiest one I think would be Hammer, so let's just go ahead and run through that. It does take a little bit on this laptop. It doesn't have a lot of the processing power that I like to have, but you know, for running in the field, this is gonna be more than fine. It's just gonna take a while to install stuff. That's why I have a cigar. And a comfy chair on a beautiful day. What else do you want? The software to open. I hear you in the comments already. It's taking a while to run the installs and we've seen the installs already. So I'm just gonna to jump to the setup process. The install finally finished, so let me show you what I did. I went ahead and installed WSJTX, Hammers, and OmniRig. You gotta find OmniRig in the menu here. Let me go ahead and launch it. It does take a minute to launch. Also running uh, these installs took about 10 to 15 minutes, so. It will take some time. Plus I got a hat, it was getting kind of hot out here on my head. Usually, I don't know, understand, OmniRig usually takes a bit to open up, even on my uh, nicer computers. This is OmniRig. One quick little thing I like to do is go ahead and pin it to the taskbar, since we're going to be using it on this computer quite frequently. For some reason, they don't install to the desktop, so you always have to launch it from the start menu. We're gonna go ahead and slide that over here and then we are going to launch WSJTX. And here it is. So I think it's time to throw up the antenna and uh, get the radio going, which I should have done already when I was waiting for this to install. Next time. Woo! First try! Axel first try. And I'm setting up the dipole me and T.O. built on ham nuggets. So go ahead and check that out if you haven't seen it already. Link in the description below. What is this on the auxiliary radio bag? A bunch of extra coaxial cables. Sweet. Connector, connector, what's your connection? We got the DigiRig hooked up. If you wanna see how I wired it up, watch my other videos, they will explain all the wiring. Um, the last thing I got to do is plug it into the computer and see if the drivers recognize. So it looks like the drivers didn't install all the way and that's okay, I've seen this before. So we just have to go to the website and download them. I went ahead and Googled CP2102 November um, into Google and went up to the webpage and pulled up. And that should bring you to Silicon Labs webpage to go ahead and download the drivers. The screen lags a little bit because the recording on the Evolve is not that great. So I'm gonna go ahead and unplug the DigiRig. Open up the folder. Ah one of those. So we're gonna to have to abstract the folder and run the install. Then we're gonna plug this back in. And then once the drives are successfully initialized, you'll see this ports. Select the drop down for ports. And then you'll see what port number we're on. We are gonna be on COM3 for my computer. Next, we're gonna come into OmniRig. Choose COM3. Then we're gonna choose IC756 Pro. Then we're gonna set the baud rate to 19 by 200. This RST to low, 
this DTR too high and 250 for a pull cycle and timeout 4000. I'm going to go ahead and jump to me working FT8. You've seen me set up this before in another video and the video keeps lagging. So we're just going to go ahead and jump to the next thing. It's finally happening. A contact. We're exchanging signal reports. 7-3. Ha 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 ha. I made a contact. Here goes another one. VK Poda Station in Canada. Boom. Got it. I guess I'm going to uh, now go upstairs and uh, do the final thing. But I finally made a contact. <laughs> Next, we are going to take this power cable and we're going to cut into it and put power poles on it. I haven't done this yet, so I don't know what is in the wire. Is it two wires? Is it one wire with the grounding on the outside? I'm not gonna explore. We're just gonna cut into and see what we got. I wanna leave myself a decent amount of wire when I plug this into my battery system, so I'm just probably gonna cut it halfway. That just seems like a right mark. And this time, it's unplugged. No sparks. If it sparks, I'm gonna be surprised. Here we go. All right. So what we have here is a two connections. So one's positive and one's negative. Great. Um, let's go ahead and peel back this jacket a bit and see if there are colored wires to tell us which one's which. Hey, one's red and one's black. I love this. I'm trying to get a quarter inch here. So we have a quarter inch to work with. There we go. Without cutting into the wire too much. And then I'm gonna strip these wires. And there we go. So when I turn this on, I am expecting to see a positive voltage if it's wired correctly. If red is positive and the black is negative. So we should have a positive voltage. I have this extension cord, a one that I could toggle on and off with my foot. If there's any sparks, I can turn it off real fast. Or I trip a breaker and then everything will go out. Hopefully not permanently. Here we go. No breaker trip. So these are live. So I'm gonna put an end here and an end over here. Perfect, so we have 12 volts now coming out of this and it's wired up correctly at least with the colors on the wires. So I like that. That means they made it right. And now let's put some power poles on it. And we're just going to separate both of these. I want a half inch, maybe a little longer, three quarters. And there we go. And then we're just gonna pull this off and expose the wire. Part we did verify that both of these are wired correctly. So I'm just gonna take my wired stripper, it's not the nice one Jason has, and pull off about a quarter inch. There it is. Then we're going to take these, and what we're going to do is make sure these are on the right side, right on the right, and this flipped up. There we go, most is in there. Couple strands coming off. I'm just gonna cut those. There's the first one. And then of course we're gonna solder it. There's a little hole right there. And what when it gets hot enough, we're gonna stick solder in there and it's just gonna melt. Like so. I'm just gonna suck it up. Beautiful. That's number one. Number two. And again, solder. Suck it right on up. And some final tip maintenance. And it's beautiful silver. Just gonna trim these few wires that were straggling. The flat side at the top gets the long flat side here. The bump and ridge and sort side needs that little ridged right there. So I am gonna put it on this way and needle nose pliers helps, especially with this small cord. There's one. Here comes the second. Ah, 
I forgot the booty. Booty, booty, booty. That looks good. The final one. Flat, flat. There we go. Perfect. On the other side. And there we go. There we go. All right, on to the second pair. Trick is getting all these little strands in there. They are perfect. And feed it into the right slot. Come down, move that out of the way. There we go. Sanity test. There it is, 12 volts, perfect. Flat, cut the end off. Don't know why they don't come like that. And that is just getting sucked up right into it. Tip maintenance. According to Mike, anytime you're done, clean it, tin it, and turn it off. Power, 12 volts. There it is, power. Oh, yay, it's booting up and it's working. Till next time y'all, go forth and conquer. You can help support the channel by Patreon or YouTube memberships, links in the description below. And a thank you to all my supporters, go forth and conquer.